The late 1890s marked the beginning of a grand idea, the diversion of the Colorado River for irrigation purposes. As the 19th century drew to a close, this bold vision was born. Pioneers envisioned taming the mighty Colorado River, directing its waters to nourish the arid landscapes of the Southwest. But this was no simple task. A multitude of challenges and disputes arose, turning this grand idea into a daunting endeavor. Yet, amidst the complexity, the idea evolved. The potential of the Colorado River extended beyond irrigation. It held the promise of hydroelectric power, a resource that could light up cities and fuel industries. This led to the consideration of a monumental engineering project, building a dam on the lower Colorado River. The journey towards this massive undertaking took a significant step forward in 1922 with the signing of the Colorado River Compact. This agreement paved the way for the allocation of the river's waters among seven states. Despite opposition, the dream persisted, gaining momentum and support. With the potential for hydroelectric power, the Bureau of Reclamation proposed various sites finally settling on Black Canyon as the ideal location. The stage was set. The prelude to the Hoover Dam had begun. The journey from an idea to an authorized project was not without its bumps. The initial proposal of diverting the Colorado River for irrigation and hydroelectric power faced numerous challenges and disputes. The possibility of building a dam on the lower Colorado River was met with considerable opposition, but the tide began to turn after a catastrophic event. The failure of the St. Francis Dam in 1928 underscored the need for a more robust and well-planned infrastructure. This tragedy garnered support for the Hoover Dam project, demonstrating the importance of meticulous planning and execution in large-scale engineering endeavors. President Coolidge played a pivotal role in moving the project forward by signing the bill authorizing the dam in the same year. With a funding of $165 million, the stage was set for one of the greatest engineering marvels of the 20th century. In 1931, the construction of the Hoover Dam commenced, a project that would take five years and cost over 100 lives. Nestled in the Black Canyon of the Colorado River, the dam site presented a unique set of challenges. The harsh desert conditions and the remote location added to the complexity of the project. The dam was a marvel of modern engineering. Its concrete arch-gravity design was chosen for its strength and stability. The construction process required innovative techniques including the use of refrigeration to cool the concrete, ensuring it cured properly. This was a pioneering move in construction technology, setting a precedent for future megastructures. The dam's construction was not without its trials. Workers battled against extreme heat and the treacherous environment claimed numerous lives. Despite these hardships, their determination and ingenuity were unyielding. The dam's construction involved thousands of workers who toiled day and night to bring this ambitious project to life. The Hoover Dam, a concrete arch-gravity dam standing tall in the Black Canyon of the Colorado River, was more than a construction marvel. It was an embodiment of purpose and a beacon of progress. Completed ahead of schedule in 1936, it had a mission far beyond being an architectural wonder. It was designed to control the raging floods, quench the thirst of arid lands through irrigation, and harness the power of water to generate electricity. It stands guard over Lake Mead, the largest man-made reservoir in the United States, holding back the waters of the mighty Colorado River. But its influence doesn't stop at its water's edge. The Hoover Dam has also grown into a major tourist attraction drawing in millions of visitors each year, intrigued by its massive scale and the story of its creation. Today the Hoover Dam's generators continue to provide power to Nevada, Arizona and California, standing the test of time through ingenuity and perseverance.